there? I didn't see you there. Oh, you'd like to hear about my life? Okay, but first, a joke. Who was a famous crab artist? Leonardo da Vinci. And speaking of Leonardo da Vinci, my name is very, very similar. My name is Leonardo da Vinci. I had many professions, but to name a few, I think, obviously, you can see a painter. I am an inventor, a scientist, engineer. The period whence I lived, the Renaissance, it's a beautiful period. It's a time when people were greatly interested in the arts, classical education, and literature. I was born in 1452 and died in 1519. My dad was a rich businessman and my mother was a simple peasant. But I didn't really know them all that well. I mostly spent time with my uncle Francesco. We went on long nature walks together. I first lived and grew up in Vinci, Italy, then moved to Florence, Milan, and finally Amboise, France, where I became a house guest of the king. I had none and no education, really, but the education that I did have I was taught to read and write by a priest, and also how to use an abacus. When I was with my uncle on the long nature walks, I would ask him questions like, how do people travel on ice? How does a caterpillar become a butterfly in its cocoon? And later, when I was with my friends, I would ask them similar questions like, how was that tower built? Where does the river start? In the long nature walks, I observed birds. Those studies later helped me when I painted angel's wings and when I invented a flying machine. I have a saying for myself. I think it should be made into a quote. It's called just as iron rust from disuse, so our intellect wastes unless it is kept in use. As a child, I adored nature. I was very curious about it also. Although one thing my dad did do for me was one day we went into Florence and I met Andrea del Verrocchio, a great artist, and my dad paid for my apprenticeship under him. And my jobs as an apprentice were to sweep, then later to polish bronze statues and grind pigments. And one of the most interesting ingredients of the pigments were mummies. And the Mona Lisa, believe it or not, I used the Fibonacci sequence in the Mona Lisa. And she has, she's very interesting because of her smile. And also, here's the fun part, her eyes. She's looking at me here, 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 here. It's amazing. I don't know how I did that. But for the rest of my life, I always kept the Mona Lisa. The Last Supper, it's one of my used to be great paintings, but it's one of my biggest failures. I like experimenting with paint, and I was experimenting with a different kind of paint on The Last Supper. Didn't go so well. The Last Supper is chipping so badly. I had a lot of inventions. Speaking of which, I invented a flying machine, a submarine, a tank, a diving suit, and a robot, which was even able to sit up and wave its arms. I'm a curious person, both curious in I'm curious about nature and curious is in I have some quirks. One of the quirks 
is because I am left-handed, I wrote my notebooks in mirror writing. If I had to sum up my life in two sentences, I think I would say that my curiosity helped me with my inventions and nature inspired my paintings. It was nice talking with you. I have to deliver this painting to the Archduke of France.